Thanks so much for staying on with us right here on the stock game. And uh, well, uh, it's not looking any better for the markets right now, even as you've got uh, the global data points that continue to flow in. Uh, you've got uh, Chinese auto sales numbers that have come in uh, lower by about a percent and a half on a year on year basis. That's for the month of February. Meanwhile, uh, it's gloom, uh, it's quite gloomy for the markets, but let's touch base with our experts on the stock game for this week. Uh, Mandar Jamsandekar of Precision Technical Analysis has been with us, as is uh, Richard Jen of Angel Broking and Sadat Sadani of Sher Khan. Uh, gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, good to have you all with us and let's get uh, started. And uh, Mandar, run us through your uh, portfolio for today. It looks to be concentrated in the mid-cap segment. Yeah, good morning, Mega. Uh, the first stock that I have is BF Utilities. Uh, this stock has formed an inverted head and shoulder pattern yesterday on the daily charts and therefore I have a long in this uh, with a stop loss at 546 for a target of 584. The pattern actually has a target of 726 which is expected to be achieved in 16 trading sessions. The second stock that I have is GNFC. Uh, this was an odd man out. This, the stock had made a down flag formation and therefore I had a sell in this with a stop loss at 69.50 for a target of 63. The third stock is uh, RS Software. This stock made a trend change breakout pattern yesterday which suggested that now the trend is changing to, uh, to, uh, to uptrend and therefore I had a buy in this with a stop loss at 72 for a target of 84. And the last stock that I had is Cadilla Healthcare. The stock was consolidating for the last two months and yesterday it's given us an upward breakout. Uh, so above 338, the stock is going to stay in strong hands. Therefore, I had a long in this uh, with a stop loss at 336 for a target of 349. Okay, that's uh, Mandar's portfolio. But take you through Richard Jen's portfolio as well. And Richard, what is the strategy that you are adopting for today's uh, session? Good morning. Uh, my first call is a buy call on uh, LIC Housing Finance. Uh, we have seen after consolidation of three, four sessions yesterday, the uh, stock uh, showed signs of strength, and which uh, in, which implies the resumption of the uptrend. I think on the higher side, the stock has potential to go up to 475 in a day or two, uh, with a stop loss below 449. That's why I placed a buy call in LIC. Second call is a buy, uh, buy call in Bharti Airtel. Overall, the trend of the stock is quite uh, strong over here. We have seen at lower levels the stock had formed a bullish wolf wave pattern. The target of steam uh, still is uh, much higher than current levels. So with a target of 348 and stop loss below 326, my second call was a buy call in Bharti Airtel. Uh, third call I had given was a buy call in Arvind Limited. Uh, probably we have seen yesterday good continuation of move coming in in the stock. The stock had recently formed a bullish engulfing pattern. Although resistance would come around 288, 290. So it's just a pullback move. And we are not expecting any major upside momentum. But just for a pullback of up to 288, I have placed a buy in Arvin. And my last call is a buy call in Hero Motoko. Uh, we have seen a good positive momentum in the stock in recent past, wherein the stock had uh, breached the higher end of the resistance of la past one year. Prices are consolidating sideways since last four or five trading sessions. And I think that one more upside uh, leg is still left in the stock. So with a target of 2875, I think the stock would go higher than those levels also. But just from trading perspective, 2875 would be the target and stop loss of 2775. Okay, those are the ideas coming in. Uh, then from Richard as well, we'll take a quick break and uh, come back with the experts on the other side. Welcome back. You're watching BNS in the stock game where we're discussing our experts portfolio there. And Siddharth, over to you then and quickly run us through your uh, your portfolio for today. The first top idea of the day would be Tata Motors we're on the back of JLR, expecting delivery of uh, 16 to 17% volume growth in FY17, whereas we can see a revival in the domestic cycle. Uh, second idea of the day would be Britannia. Uh, as we all know, it's into a consumption space where we expect uh, quite a good volume growth in the space by 10 to 11 percent, even have a 3.5 million uh, reach to the retail segment directly or indirectly. So the third idea of the day would be Havels with a target of 370, where we expect the margins to expand going forward, and it is a, a household name to the domestic mar in the domestic markets. As we all know, the products are uh, quite good in terms of uh, margins, accretion is concerned. The fourth idea of the day would be LIC Housing Finance, where we expect 15% uh, growth in uh, advances and disbursements in FY16, whereas asset quality has also improved marginally. 
and uh, PC and overall uh, earning expectation in terms of CAGI growth is expected around 20% from 15 to 8. Mm. Okay, that's uh, those are the picks coming in from Siddharth. But uh, we are out of time on the show. Thank you so much for joining in as always uh, on the stock game and market sense is up next.